and it's day eight of the Mindset March challenge and I still made it for the old for day eight. I'm super happy about that and it is to do with the today's topic which is the most important rule of success and ingredient of success. It's decision making and I took the decision to take a little bit longer to give you the best what I can do because if I'm doing it now, I'm already good with it. So the Mindset March challenge is to remember Bob Proctor. He recently passed away and I would like to take the opportunity to do a 30-day recap of his most important things that he gave us, that he brought together. He didn't reinvent the wheel, but he brought together all the necessary parts that make human development, our, our, our human growth so important these days. And uh, we can build up on this and uh, become better, live better lives, become better persons and get the things that we really want. So this time I'm going to explain you the power and importance of decision making and I will explain you why the number 2774 stands for an epic decision of um, and also uh, making of success in mankind's history. So stay tuned. It's going to be for the next 15 minutes if you are watching this. And I already see that there are people out there who are still, well, who are maybe waking up or who are still awake. It's so nice. Brian, thank you very much. I like that you like the shirt and uh, I will also be happy to dress up if you're coming like this. And uh, yeah, so, so much going on in these lives, in our lives right now. It's so many crises, we're coming out from one crisis, other crises come and the only thing that you can keep balanced is to find your inner strength, finding your mindset. And so this is what we are talking about. And one important ingredient is the decision making. And I will start right now with what I have brought together. And thanks, Brian. So great that you are there and, uh, and support me. So what did I prepare today? This is it. This is a little presentation about our decisions and why they are so important. Decision making is so important because, yeah, it is, <laughs> it should actually be taught in school. And as Bob Proctor has written in his article about decision making, it is not. So this is why we have to take care of our decision making. And I will put myself a little bit onto the, onto the left here. Why is decision so decision making, of course, well, it's a it's a topic you cannot you maybe you think you cannot really teach it in school, but you can certainly not see the decisions or the decision making of somebody, but you can certainly see the results of the decisions taken. And oh, look at this. So I will make myself now really small because the text is so big today <laughs> i will have to i will have to make myself really really small but i have brought you this article from bob proctor and brought you the beef out of this article and what it can mean for our decision making and our success every day so in uh, the bob proctor was a real fan of Napoleon Hill. Napoleon Hill, I will show you in an in a, in a afterwards slide, is an author who wrote uh, the famous book Think and Grow Rich. Have a quick look at this here. Think and Grow Rich. And this book 
was published in 1937 and uh, he, Napoleon Hill already wrote in his, well, one of the first, maybe the first book about success and self-development that the analysis of several hundred people who had accumulated fortunes w well beyond the million dollar mark disclosed the fact that every one of them had the habit, so every one of the successful people had the habit of reaching decisions promptly and changing these decisions slowly if and when they were changed. And people who failed to accumulate money without exception have the habit of reaching decisions if all, if at all very slowly and changing these decisions quickly and often. So this was what Napoleon Hill wrote in 1937. And it's still true today. And this is Napoleon Hill here. He has written this book, Think and Grow Rich, in nine, and he was promoted as uh, from the philanthropist and big, big uh, millionaire that time, Andrew Carnegie, who said, well, he wanted to have a research done of all successful people in his community, in his, in his uh, well, yeah, in his mastermind and in his, uh, well, in his network. And he found the young journalist, Napoleon Hill. He invited him and suggested him to work for him on this project. Andrew Carnegie said he's going to open up the, well, all the doors for to the rich and famous people that time uh, to for Napoleon Hill. He wouldn't earn any money for the time of the research, but Andrew Carnegie said, well, he would certainly later. And there was one thing that is in, in the middle of this slide, and it's 29 seconds. Because Andrew Carnegie asked Napoleon Hill if he would be willing to do this project, if he wouldn't earn anything for the next 20 years on that. And it took... So the story says 29 seconds uh, until Napoleon Hill said yes to the question and got the job. And um, so this is also another example about yeah decision making, like quick decision making and then staying with this decision, even though it might not pay out for the first moments. And we could certainly also talk much more about decision making and about this book, but I will move on because this is what here, okay, what Napoleon Hill wrote about and Henry Ford. And let me just fix this, uh, this slide quickly because this is so such a nice slide that I probably have to make it in two. Well, okay, let's do it like this. Let's do one, uh, one slide that shows it all. Let's go again. So here you have this old Model T that Henry Ford that time produced. And at that time it was probably like the Tesla, if I don't want to make any advertisement, but the Tesla of today, it was the, was the Model T from, from Ford in the beginning of the 20th century that was the uh, that was henry ford's great achievement to build the first mass compatible car that was mass produced and affordable for everybody and napoleon hill wrote that henry ford's most aus outstanding qualities is the habit of reaching decisions quickly and definitely and changing these slow the quality is so pronounced in Mr. Ford that ha it has given him the reputation of being obstinate. It was his quality which prompted Mr. Ford to continue to manufacture his famous Model T. Uh, he writes the mo most the world's ugliest car when all of this all of his supervisors were urging him to change it. So now I will quickly move the text box so we can now see. Uh, the Model T in his in his in his whole beauty. So you know what? 
today everybody would say, hey, this is a typical old timer. This looks is a great car. Nobody uh, today would say, well, this is uh, particularly ugly or something. I just thought. Uh, that's the way. So if people have opinions about something, okay, if uh, this model was not uh, exactly like the other cars at that time or was not as beautiful or aesthetic, but it was a success. And so in this regard, Andrew Carnegie um, has also given Napoleon Hill the access to Henry Ford to interview him. And uh, through this uh, research, we now have the idea what constitutes success. And also, let's move on with um, Bob Proctor and what he has thought, what he has written about and compiled about decision making. And look, so I am doing my best to put myself as discreetly as possible here. <laughs> in the corner and uh, so yeah so this is life a live operation and you see how easy that is to use ecamm live to do a great uh, presentation on the go so decision making as the main reason of success but proctor writes i have been studying the behavior of people who have become very proficient at making decisions for over a quarter of a century so what makes the most important quality of uh, being a successful decision maker is their self-image, a high degree of self-esteem. They may be as different as night um, it is today with the people that he has seen, but certainly everybody possessed self-confidence. If you don't have self-confidence, you are not a good decision maker. Decision makers are not afraid of making an error. And if and if they make an error in their, in their decision or fail in something, they have the ability to shrug it off. They learn from the experience, but they will never sub submit to the failure. So I think this is an absolute uh, important quality here, the self-image. And why is this so important? And now you have the ability to see me a little bit bigger again. And I hope my board still works. Look at this. This is my new invention here. I have here this beautiful, beautiful blackboard. And let me just also quickly get the right, uh, get this right. So what I want to show you is why this is so, why self-image is so important for decision making. You have seen yesterday that I have already explained the stick person that Bob Proctor likes so much. So this is the stick person. This is the idea that Bob Proctor used all the time, uses all the time in for his, um, yeah, for explaining what makes success. And so this here is the person that has the conscious mind, the subconscious mind, and here is the body that is in vibration. I make it in another color. So the body vibes because of the subconscious and conscious mind. And so here, the, definitely you have the conscious mind connected to the sense, to the senses, to seeing, to smelling, to hearing, tasting, touching. And the conscious part is the thinking part. The subconscious mind is the feeling part. And here, this here is the action. The body gets into, into the action. So. What does this have to do with decision making? I can tell you when we look at the subconscious part here. If you are processing thoughts of pos positive of a positive idea that you can do it, that you feel good about something and you have gained the confidence you will certainly be a confident decision maker. So your body is in the vibration to decide and to also go for the action. If it's the opposite way, if you are 
questioning if you are um, if you are not really sure if you feel if you don't feel it and if you haven't been proficient in doing a lot of uh, or if you didn't experience that you were successful then you will certainly also be doubtful in your decision maybe you decide slowly and so also your actions will not be as promptly and will have the energy with it and so this is how you can put the stick person into this picture when we look at the presentation again this would be it here the stick person idea says that your yeah what's going outside is always reflecting are always reflected um, by what is inside so here you have what i have just well beautifully crafted you in the in my uh, in my board drawing and the person well today i have really this not really set my the position of my picture so the person who fails to develop their ability to make decision is doomed because indecision sets up internal conflicts which can without warning escalate into all mental and emotional war wars says bob proctor and this is how it, it would look like if you take that stick person theory again so here you have the subconscious mind in red low self-esteem lack of confidence and here this is even though you might have positive thoughts on uh, something but it creates an ambivalence you don't know should i stay or should i go should i do it shouldn't i do it should i go to work <laughs> watch tv or there's so many examples but at the end, the frequency is not in the in the action, in the in the right energy, and this indecision of actions, no action, will not get you the result that you want. And so, therefore, it is that yeah, Bob Proctor says this is the key element to work on your decision making. You have to work on your self image and your confidence. Okay, I will quickly change my picture again. So you see me here. And so yeah, one of the slides that I find super helpful for us as we are proceeding into the new day in tomorrow in about in a few day in a few hours here in Europe, what should I for what's your rule for a successful decision making? And yeah, here Bob Proctor says, decide right where you are with whatever you've got. This is precisely why most people never master this, this important aspect of life. They permit their resources to dictate if and when a decision will or can be made. And he has this famous example and that Bob Proctor told all the time the story when John F. Kennedy asked Werner von Braun what would take what would it take to build a rocket that would carry a man safely to the moon and return him safely to the earth his simple answer Werner von Braun was direct the will to do it and Bob Proctor said always tells that well it is not you know that Kennedy asked, hey, do we have the money to do it? Why uh, do you really think it would be possible to do it? He made the decision and advanced in full confidence. So this is what we can learn from, of course, the American spirit. This is so great, but also we can all do in our life, in our daily lives, this, and also do not let the enemy of decision-making circumstance hold you back. How often have you caught yourself saying, I would like to do this, but I can't because. And whatever follows because is the circumstance. Circumstances may cause a detour in your life, but you should never permit them to stop you from making important decisions. 
So this is it for this part of the mindset, well, mindset march here. If you want to go and use these three rules for decision making, go, use predict your own prosperous futures, make a picture, a mental picture of your of your future, build exactly how you would like to live, make a firm decision and hold on to that vision and positive ways to improve everything and you be, and everything will begin to flow into your mind. And here the last thing about failure failure and decision making. So Bob Proctor in his article also says, well, a lot of people get a, put themselves basically into a prison because they have tried sometimes for doing something and they have not succeeded. And then they shrug away and they shy away and say, okay, I'm not doing anything anymore. And so the idea is here that failing does not make you a failure. Quitting does and quitting is a decision like winning is a decision. So therefore go in the, well, go proceed for your goal and success is also the progressive realization of a worthy ideal. So success might not, might not come directly. And here I am now asking you in my last slide, what is 2774 stand for? Anybody has an idea? I haven't, I, I, I'm not, I'm not prepared to give you a price yet, but maybe this book here, Think and Grow Rich, I can, I can send you this book. I certainly can. Who has an idea what this number stands for? 2774, make a guess. And so in the meantime, I will bring on Brian's beautiful comment. Hey, Brian, thank you very much. And I will quickly also change the color so it looks, it looks consistent to my coloring here. I think it, this could work. Yeah, looks nice. So 2,774, what do you think? Make a guess. So we have at least 10 people watching here. Um, what do you think? What does this number stand for? Thank you, Brian. And yeah, and Brian also says, own it and take responsibility so hard but necessary. And so Brian, you are an example of decision making. I see it every day with your course on the ultimate LinkedIn profile that you're currently offering uh, a fantastic course. So if nobody has an idea what the number stands for, I will give you an idea now. 2,774, that's exactly the number of times that Edison failed to attempting inventing, to inventing the light bulb. It was not 10,000 times, as a lot of people write. It was not 1,000 times. This is the number that uh, Blog researched. It's already a lot of times. So it could have been the 2,773 three third time if Edison failed but I'm sure every time he did something he got a little bit closer to the goal and to his vision so this is also the idea for your decision making so failure doesn't make you a failure but the quitting does and quitting is the decision here and so therefore go in faith and uh, in the, con continu in the continu continuous progression of your go worthy ideal and how, how important that worthy ideal is, I, am already, I have already covered in the third 
uh, in the third time here in my Mindset March on 3rd of March. So if you like this, what I have been doing, uh, so yeah, let me know uh, what you think about these principles of success, what you like to know more about. Uh, if you think this is interesting, this stick person idea here and what you would like to explain more, why you may be what uh, if you're interested in knowing more what your worthy idea, ideal, your yeah, your purpose could be, but you don't really have a clue. So I would like to invite you to my webinar that I'm holding in a few days, what I learned from Bob Proctor, where I will cover everything that I have covered, that I will cover now bit by bit, where I give you a more comprehensive picture about Bob Proctor's teachings and uh, the methodology and what you can take for your life and to bring it into a structure to bring your process, how you manage your life and how you expand towards your yeah, worthy ideal and how you make your success uh, really accountable in, in this way and how you yeah, can lead the life that you really like in a structured approach. And so this is the um, QR code to a registration page where you can just enter your email address and then I will send you the invite to the webinar as soon as I have planned it. I haven't really planned it so far. And so, yeah, this is it for today. Really, thank you very much for your interest in today. It always takes a little bit to explain this, but it's a wonderful opportunity. And I thank you so much for your interest. Also, if you just want to watch it, this is so great to know that you are there. And don't forget that if you continue to yeah, with your worthy ideal, that's success, the progressive re realization. It doesn't have to be the first, second, third time, but the progressive realization maybe doesn't have to be the 2774th time. Maybe it's also earlier. And so this is the, this is the idea to get us, to get you as fast as to your dream life as possible. And yeah, in this regard, trying harder is also not necessarily the solution. Maybe it's another perspective to change your mindset and go there where you want to go more effortlessly and faster. And this is the idea. And if you would like to follow me tomorrow for the next episode here in my 30 day challenge, I would be so thrilled and so happy. If you're seeing this on YouTube, please, yeah, give it a like and also um, let uh, others know if you think this is interesting and subscribe to the YouTube channel. All Everything, if you see this now on social media, everything is already on YouTube. So go to my YouTube channel so you will see episode one to eight uh, in, in the replay. So wishing you a great day and uh, yeah, keep on being a strong decision maker. All the best. Bye bye. Thank you.